I'm with Annie Flo at the Boston Freedom Rally. Uh, a great wow. I, I, I want to give you a hug. I give you a hug. Like a, like a long loss. I'm a Tampa Bay Rays fan. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I, I don't even care about the Red Sox. It's about Boston. Yeah, I we're in Boston right now, and that's what this is about. Boston has been wonderful so far. I mean, there's people everywhere. Uh, we're getting ready to speak up here. Like I never would have thought a year ago I'd be up here speaking. That is amazing. Because last time you were probably trying to speak and doing the countdown. You got hauled away by the federal police. I did get hauled away by the federal police, and that's why when we do our little rogue smoke down tomorrow, I'm going to be 10, 9, 8, and then, you know, we'll pass it over to uh, you who's running for fucking something in, in Massachusetts, right? Vote for oh, yeah, this campaign sign. Yeah, vote for Mike Can for fucking anything. Just go in. Write it in. And Take in Philly, a pot. yeah. N.A. Yeah. Poe. Stop writing his name in. I'm thinking about running, running for city council. You know, I got I'm all about that. I got That's one tie. I have a 911 tie. <laughs> I can wear it every day to work. You know? I think you're gonna get a lot of votes. A yeah. lot of media, <laughs> a lot of attention. Yeah, well, it's a it's a people's movement, Mike, and you can see that once you let the people hang out and just have a good time, they're ready to just hang out and have a good time. Oh, yeah. the month. Yeah. The problem with this today, the city has been assholes to us with uh, the amount of time that we get. We're we're, we're doing uh, 12 to 6 day. We should be doing 12 to 8. That sucks. Now, what's going to happen? Do you feel like the Boston police would do some kind of like? I'm not looking for a standoff on the record, but I mean. Do you think that you guys would push it here to stay as long as you possibly can? And do you think the police would engage that? I think it's up to Mass Can. Yeah. I think that they're probably just going to go with what the permit says today, 12 to 6. But I think that we, as individuals, yeah. should do our 420 thing tomorrow. Because we're scheduled to do that. And that's just ridiculous. And we should just do our little thing on the stage tomorrow. Yeah, and I think we should be able to get, you know, a couple thousand people to do that with us. We'll smoke marijuana openly. It's not a crime. And the thing is, too, that just to explain about civil disobedience. We're not going to be smoking marijuana openly when marijuana is legal federally, right? I'll come to your house, we'll sit in the basement, we'll hang out, we'll relax, right? I know, that's what we want, too. I mean, we just want uh, freedom. The, you know, the problem is, is uh, they tell us we can't smoke inside, and now they tell us we can't smoke outside. Where, where can we use our cannabis? Where can medical marijuana patients go? I thought you wanted people not to smoke inside in restaurants and, and condominiums and all that. So now you're, you're doing this, now you're going after us outside. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. So that's why we're here. It's about freedom. And again, the city of Boston showing bigotry against marijuana because they don't do that to any other event in Boston. Just yeah. our event, year after year after year. And it's not about the cops. The cops, they're just here. They know it's a peaceful event. They treat us pretty well, actually. It's about the city government. Yeah, but you guys really, you know, what I admire about what you do in Boston is you really know how to fight the government. We're still in our fledgling stages down there. I mean, Mass Can always wins. They go in, they, they, they go at these guys, and then legally they use the law to make them deal with you guys and, and that that's commendable yeah I think uh, we have a lot of attorneys here we have a lot of culture a lot of history so put those two things together and things happen I think you guys are getting out the culture you guys are, are leading it and uh, we're trying we're envious of you in Boston get out of here smoke out. seriously what you guys are doing the whole nation's watching watching yeah well hopefully they can all watch me on probation for two years Mike Robert <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I'm I guess I'm the one who's up Tomorrow and get arrested. Or yeah, yeah, it's your turn. Buddy. It's my turn. So come get Look me. Look for Boston. this guy. Free my can. <laughs> Both of me from, from whatever office it is in 2016. I didn't make those campaign signs, but I love them. Thank you, Red Blazer. But yeah, we're gonna get you on the Panic Hour camera soon. Thank. You. Frank and Paul, right? All right, right now coming to the stage to speak to y'all for a little bit. Give a warm welcome to Frank Capone, please. Frank Capone. All right, all right. My name is Frank Capone. I'm here representing Defend the Fourth Coalition. We're an affinity group of activists that uh, go out and fight for your Fourth Amendment rights. So uh, what, what, what are your Fourth Amendment rights? What is the Fourth Amendment? So, the Fourth Amendment is what gives you the right to be secure in your person and your effects, right? So what, what's your person? And this is my person, right? That's your person right there. As I stand here, as you stand here, right? So all you guys, you have a right, right, to be secured. You have a right to not be searched without a warrant. The Constitution calls for a warrant, right? And so now you have your effects, right? What, what are your effects? You know what I mean? It's like what's under my hat, you know, what, what I have in my backpack or my duffel bag or my shopping bag or whatever. Whatever that I have that's outside of my property, you know, outside of my person, rather. But it's my property, I own it, and therefore I have a right to be security, you know? And my identification as well, my papers. 
can't forget about your papers. So all your papers, you know, so that's all your IDs and everything else, government documents, things like that. What's up, buddy? A t-shirt. No, we're all out, man. Sorry. You missed the boat. Keep going. But at any rate, so... So you have a right to be insecure in all of these things, right? And so no, when the police, secure, when they... Not yes, secure. secure, not insecure. So when the police come up to you, you know, when they try to search you without a warrant, right? They're violating your rights, you know? When you're, when you're forced to comply with a search to get on the train, your rights are being violated, right? And you, you have a right to sit there and say, you know what, sir or ma'am, I do not consent to a search, you know? You don't give me a dick about it, because I mean, it's just they have a job to do, we have a job to do, right? So we, it's our job to defend our rights. Unfortunately, they're not going to do it for us, okay? And so we have to say, I do not consent to a search, and that's it, okay? And they might, they might search you anyway, but at least you can say that, you know, you tried to uphold your rights and you had that in court. But let's talk about some weed. Yeah? Yeah? That's what we're here for, right? Yeah, don't, don't speak it up, Oh, all right, so who here voted for medical? Yeah! Who over there voted for medical? Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Who, who worked on medical? Anybody over here work, work on medical? Worked on smoking. Worked on smoking it. All right. And so, a major benefactor. There are huge years. issues going on right now with the medical law in Massachusetts. So, you know, going out and voting for it? Awesome. But what have, what, what have we done for medical since we went in there and voted for it? Like, activism does not end in the voting booth, right? You have to take it to Beacon Hill over there, all right? It's right there, you know? That's where the fight happens. That's how things actually get done, is we take pieces of legislation and improve the law that we pass. So right now in Massachusetts, uh, patients have absolutely no protections from being fired for smoking weed. Yeah. Even if they have a prescription, right? Yeah. So someone that is, you know, prescribed clonopins or whatever other drug that they might piss dirty for, they're gonna keep their job, not a problem, because they got the shiny piece of paper and that's an acceptable thing. And so, where is the protection? Where is the protection for the patients? It's not there, you know? Look at the caregiver system also. A caregiver system that was completely gutted, all right, by big money. And who knew there was a big weed, right? Out of state money that came here and absolutely destroyed the caregiver system, shoring up that small groups of people would have control of the dispensaries. Now, so now you have a situation where dispensaries want to charge you $450 an ounce. Fuck that! Like you can afford that shit! Can you afford $450 an ounce? No! What about someone who's so sick that they cannot even work, right? And they need that medicine, they need that. What are they gonna do? They're gonna get the free shitty weed from the state? The stuff that's not even necessarily for their condition? You know, so well, what, are we, what are we gonna do about this? How are we gonna stop it? How are we gonna change it? We're gonna go to the state house, okay? And I'm gonna go there, and I suggest that, you know, you join MassCan, join the, join the email group, you know, find us on Facebook, Defend the Fourth, check out MikeCan.net, you know, KOP Productions, and go out there and, and look, out, look out for us, because we're doing it. And if you wanna join us, if you wanna do it too, then we'll be here waiting for you. Thank you. Yeah!